Turning and Abbott looks for the inside line again. And has he got it? He's got it. Haslam has to give way. Oh, so close there. Haslam comes through on the inside. Can he squirt it through? No, he can't. It's a change. Steve Abbott, the new race leader, Sean Smith, in the sidecar. Terry Haslam, the driver of the outfit behind. And in his sidecar, John Gay. very very fast not so long ago uh, the late Scott Taylor was lapping some circuits as quick as the solos were and you can see Sean Smith working overtime there pulling himself over the rear wheel to uh, put the weight down and then you'll see as he goes through a left hander he has to judge his timing perfectly get all the way out of the outfit so that to keep the sidecar wheel on the road his timing absolutely crucial to when the rider can brake when the rider can accelerate Looks as though Steve Abbott has found the pace, the power to tow Terry Haslam away from that battle for third and fourth spot. The front two men now beginning to pull away. Six laps on, that's the halfway stage. Six laps on then, and Steve Abbott leading from Terry Haslam. Haslam in second place. Lost the lead a lap ago to Steve Abbott. <laughs> this is uh, Dennis and Julia Bingham, husband and wife team. They run a carpet business in Redford in Nottinghamshire. And really, Julia is a remarkable lady. She is a very, very experienced passenger. regularly compete at the Isle of Man TT races third last year and uh, she's a very fearless soul is Julia and now if we come out of the corner and the power is laid full down on the road you'll see the passengers sucking down to keep out of the wind as much as possible to give the team maximum speed down the stage into then the chicane they're coming around to complete seven laps and Steve Webster, who was challenging Haslam early on, he's out of the running. The race order at the moment, Steve Abbott in front, Terry Haslam in second place, Dennis Bingham is third, Mick Bodice is fourth, Jeff Rushwood is fifth, Dennis Bailey is sixth, and John Phillips is in sixth place. Well, that is the race leader, Steve Abbott, Sean Smith, doing the hard work the conventional outfit dropping back a little bit there's the gap between the first and second and the second and third men as they go into the chicane again they've completed eight laps now four laps to go then for the leaders there's Mick Bodies he's in fourth place struggling to turn down turn Number 24, that's uh, Jeff Rushbrook and uh, Bob Smith. And uh, this is a good performance from this pair. Entered by Spalding Service Station, and that is my memory. says, right is the uh, uh, 
Clear the station owned by Graham Milton. One of the uh, older gang of sidecar racers and uh, the challenge coming up now out in front. This is the battle for this is the battle for the lead and Haslam has gone ahead. They looked as though Haslam was going to have a go. Nine laps completed now. And Dennis and Julia Bingham are there as well. So it's a three-way strap. And John Ganey reaches out for that handhold. Passengers, of course, have got to have something to hang on. Otherwise, they're going to be thrown off. And down. So Haslam makes his move. Goes back in the lead. At the end of the ninth lap, they're on their tenth lap now in the 12 lap race. And Haslam, Terry Haslam, the elder brother of Ron Haslam, the Honda Grand Prix solo star, and Ron spends so much time, so much money. And Sean Abbott goes through. No, he doesn't. Terry Haslam has the better line, and Abbott just has to ease off for a moment. And there is the third place outfit of Dennis and Julie Bingham, and Abbott has a go here. Terry Haslam down behind the screen, they're side by side. Who's going to give way? It's Abbott who gives way. Haslam, a little bit braver as they went into the this again that time. Ten laps completed. Haslam leads. Abbott is second. They're on their 11th lap, and Abbott again looks far the inside line. You can see Haslam's outfit snaking as they go into red gate. And Abbott's back in front. Steve Abbott is back in front, and Haslam tries to go through on the inside line, and he won't do it there. One thing you can see these sidecar riders doing when they get to the corner running a little bit too fast with a tiny up braking manoeuvre, they put the machine sideways and allow it to scrub off the speed and sliding sideways apart from just going forward. Steve Abbott, Sean Smith in outfit number two, they lead. Sponsored by uh, Ham Yam, the dealers from which is the northeast of England, Kestler Street. Ray Hamilton, the man behind the Ham Yam effort, a very keen supporter of sidecar racing, put a lot of money. There is the Haslam, Terry Haslam, John Ganey, and behind the Bingham, that's Dennis and Julia Bingham. And Haslam looks as though he's lost out in this battle for the lead, and he's coming under a lot of pressure now from Dennis and Julia Bingham. the last lap. One more lap to go. 1.9 miles to sort out this trap. And Dennis Bingham now looking to see if he can find a way past Terry Haslam. Very, very quick round red gate. That was just a piece of rubber, I think, one of the air hoses, perhaps. And Dennis Bingham tries the outside line. A very, very brave manoeuvre. Didn't work out for him. Terry Haslam is still second. Third at the moment, Dennis Bingham, fourth, Nick Bodies, fifth, Jeff Rushbrook, sixth, Derek Bailey, seventh, John Phillips, and they're passing slower men. That's the race leader, Steve Abbott, Sean Smith. They've ridden superbly. They took the lead on the halfway distance. They lost it momentarily to the Haslam's now. Can this, be a, can this make a difference? They're held up by a tail ender. Can Terry Haslam get back on terms? He's got a lot closer. But whether he's got close enough remains to be seen. They're coming up towards the defense for the last time and Haslam cannot do it. It's going to be Steve Abbott who wins this one. Steve Abbott. So the checkered flag for Steve Abbott and Short Smith. Terry Haslam finishes second. Dennis and Julia Bingham finish third. And... We wait now for the fourth outfit, which should be Mick Bodies. And Mick Bodies falls over the line. They've lost the place because they were passed on the line. 24, Jeff but well, bad luck indeed for Mick Bodies. He saw fourth place disappear on the last lap. Jeff Rushbrook, number 24. That is the man who did it all. The winner, number two, Steve Abbott. Second, number four, Terry Hansen. Third and number seven, Benny Singham, and fourth on the line, number 24, Jeff Rushbrook. Always exciting, and we'll be going back to Don.